It's a very interesting time. Um, I think uh, a lot of the early games, they were born out of the constraints of the hardware on which they ran. That, that kind of pushed people's creativity in a different direction. And now there's more opportunities. I, I hope that people will explore new directions with them and find better ways to, to, uh, to, to pass on emotions to other people. The idea is you've just got objects moving around on a screen and you're blowing stuff up. <laughs> you know, so where is the beauty? The beauty is in choices made, such as how big are the asteroids? How big is the ship? How quickly does the ship spin? How quickly does it accelerate, decelerate? How fast are the shots? How many shots do you have? What happens when you hit an asteroid? How fast do the asteroids move after they've been hit? The relative speed depending on their speed. The relative size, I mean. Then you've got the little saucer, you know. How does it move? How does it aim at you? He crafts those numbers or she crafts those numbers so that the game feels great. It's quite important for you know, new designers coming to, coming to the scene to study some of those old games. I think yeah, if I was running a game school, one of the things I would make people do is do a remake of, uh, of a classic game and uh, program it for themselves so they can develop the feel for how it all works. And you can see little moments that have been crafted into it which are so important and, get, and add so much to the flavour of the game. Tiny little touches. In uh, Defender, there is in the, in the explosion on Defender, which is this glorious big thing. But what people don't necessarily consciously notice is that there's a pause before the explosion. So when you hit an object, the ship actually starts blinking for about half a second or however long it is, a length of time that was carefully chosen by the designer, believe me. <laughs> And then it explodes. And that little vibration, that little point, creates a tension, a kind of thing where you, you know you just screwed up, but you're at that point where just for a moment you're still alive long enough to know it. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? It's little things like that that you learn from, but you'll only notice them if you play the games again and again.